Hey everybody, welcome to Northwestern's Pro Day. Today we got all 32 NFL teams in the building and 10 of our own players putting their skills to the test, including all four of our players who also were at the Combine. Let's go check it out. Not a bad Pro Day view, if I say so myself. We have so many opportunities to see guys play throughout their college career, games, practices. Some go to the Combine. What unique perspective do you get today at Pro Day? You know, it's always good to come and see the prospects kind of compete and work out in their own environment, something they're comfortable with. A lot of us want to see how they interact with their teammates, who shows leadership, who do people rally around. And so you kind of get to see, you know, how they might grow in your environment. If everything from a physical standpoint is equal per se, then it will, a lot of it will come down to what kind of person is he away from the building? What kind of person is he in the building? Is this somebody that you'd like to spend time around? Are they going to do the little things that we can't see on tape or on the field the right way? That's why it's so important for us to come in and talk to people at Northwestern, right? You know, right down the road from us, wonderful people here. Our guys start out the morning getting a good stretch and warm up in. Then it was time for our Wildcats to take the field. Our Wildcats went through drills like the 40 yard dash, the three cone, the short shuttle, the broad jump and the bench press. Once all the testing was done, everybody divided into their position groups to go through position skill drills. Scouts are watching, so everything is, counts, everything counts. In the combine and pro day, uh, it's keeping that same kind of game day routine, that same game day approach with everything I do. You've looked at players all over the country. What stands out to you most about the people here at Northwestern? Well, I think to be able to survive in, in a program like Coach Fitz's program, you have to have a certain degree of mental and physical toughness. I love coming to Northwestern because you're going to find smart, motivated people that are super well coached. What about your time at Northwestern prepared you for this moment most? Yeah, just the grind. I mean, from the workouts, we're having smart people around me, just kind of everything has helped me grow as a man and a person. Well, scouts took note during the drills. One thing stood out as something they were looking for outside the drills the love of football. There's a lot of sacrifices that you have to make in order to be successful and that's that's the number one thing we try to figure out about guys. Just have to love the whole thing to maximize yourself and so we're always looking for the guys that absolutely would play it even if there wasn't an NFL. They would find a way to play the game. What's the biggest key indicator to seeing a guy's true love for football? They show it with their approach and how they do everything. The college scouts told me today the most important and tangible that they look for is just an uncanny love for football. How much do you love football? I love it a lot. I mean, going out here, dominating the Senior Bowl, going to the Combine, doing that, coming out here, making sure I'm showing up, making sure I'm preparing for everything, interviews, all that stuff. I feel like that kind of shows my love for the game. Our guys left it all out on the field today. Next up, the waiting game for the NFL Draft at the end of April. I think I put my best foot forward uh, at the Combine and, and Pro Day here today. Um, and so now it's up to them. You know, the work is put in uh, through and through now. It is a waiting game now. Enjoy the process because once it starts, it's going to be a blur. Trust yourself and trust your process and don't, uh, don't give up on your dream.